Ludwig van Beethoven, one of the most influential composers in Western classical music, lived a remarkable and tumultuous life, born on December 17, 1770. In Bonn, Germany, he was baptized the next day. His family was of Flemish descent and had a musical background. Beethoven's father, Johann, was a singer employed by the Elector of Cologne. Beethoven showed musical talent from a young age and received his early music education from his father. Recognizing his son's potential, Johann sought to exploit Beethoven's talents for financial gain. Much like Leopold Mozart had done with his son, Beethoven's childhood was marked by a strict and often abusive upbringing. As his father tried to mold him into a prodigy like Mozart, by his teenage years, Beethoven was already gaining recognition as a talented pianist and composer in Bonn. In 1787, at the age of 17, he traveled to Vienna for the first time, hoping to study with Mozart. However, his trip was cut short due to his mother's illness, and upon returning to Bonn, he became the primary breadwinner for his family after his father's death. In 1792, Beethoven moved to Vienna permanently to study with Joseph Haydn, another renowned composer. Vienna was the center of musical innovation at the time, and Beethoven immersed himself in his vibrant cultural scene. He quickly established himself as a virtuoso pianist and a promising composer. Beethoven's early works, heavily influenced by Mozart and Haydn, were well received, but it was his groundbreaking compositions from the turn of the 19th century that solidified his reputation as a musical revolutionary. His compositions began to push the boundaries of traditional classical forms, introducing innovations in harmony, structure, and expression. However, Beethoven's life took a tragic turn in his late twenties when he started to experience hearing loss. By his mid-thirties, he was almost completely deaf, a condition that profoundly affected him both personally and professionally. Despite his deafness, he continued to compose some of his most iconic works, including his Ninth Symphony in D minor, the Choral Symphony, which premiered in 1824. The premiere of this symphony was a momentous occasion, as Beethoven, completely deaf, had to be turned around by one of the soloists to see the audience's thunderous applause. Beethoven's personal life was marked by loneliness and failed relationships, including several unrequited loves. He never married and had tumultuous relationships with his family and friends. Despite these challenges, he remained dedicated to his music, which he viewed as his true calling. Beethoven's legacy extends far beyond his own lifetime. His compositions, characterized by their emotional depth, innovation, and sheer force of expression, continue to inspire and influence musicians and audiences around the world. From his early piano sonatas and string quartets to his monumental symphonies and concertos, Beethoven's music remains a cornerstone of the classical repertoire, a testament to the enduring power of human creativity and spirit. He died on March 26, 1827, in Vienna, leaving behind a body of work that continues to resonate with audiences of all ages and backgrounds.